Thanks. Suparis, are you disappointed with vanilla MK11 too? <laughs> Thank uh, you. Hey, thanks. Yes. <laughs> Where is Mortal Kombat? No MK anymore? Is MK flushed? Mm, shut up. Yeah, MK11. I keep trying <laughs> so hard Thank to you. like it. You know? And eventually I just felt like I was bending over backwards trying to like it. It's like, why you gotta try so hard to like something? You know? It'll, you'll like it naturally. You don't have to try to like things. You like them. You either like them or you don't. You know? Man, it sucks though, because I had really, really high hopes for that game. Mm, I don't know why. Um, but I did. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, I'll try out uh, Shang Tsung when he comes out, which I don't know when that is. But, you know, I think a lot of people will like it. <laughs> I think a lot Thank of people you. will enjoy Mortal Kombat 11, but it's definitely not for me. There's too many thorns, you know. It feels like there's way too many thorns in my side, in all my sides, I mean, even the front and especially the back. I mean, I liked Mortal Kombat 10, and I liked uh, MK9, and I liked in Injustice 1. But, you know, so MK9, then Injustice 1, I like both. And then MK10, I like MK10. And then Injustice 2 is like, uh, I'm kind of, this is like Black Ops, you know? Black Ops uh, 1. It's like, man, uh, Modern Warfare 2 was a little better. But it's still cool, you know, whatever. And now it's like Black Ops 2. I can customize, there's combat coins, you know, and... Eh, whatever. You know, a big problem I have with Mortal Kombat, probably the biggest problem I have with it, is that the game feels like like a fighter maker i don't like that i don't like the feeling of a string that it feels like this string is missing something and it's because it is missing something it's missing this fucking dope ass move that you're supposed to do after it when it hits you know that's what's missing so, I don't like that feeling personally. It's, it doesn't feel uh, like the characters are complete with a K. You have to complete them yourself. And I ain't trying to do that. Man, I don't know. I keep trying to like the game, man. I really, honestly, I was genuinely depressed two days ago. You know, thinking about the game, I had such high expectations. I was down in the dumps. I wasn't feeling it. Jax doesn't have a bulge. Nobody has titties except for the purple girl. I mean, you know. It just, uh, and I keep trying to like it, but, you know, like I said a few times, you don't have to force yourself to like things. You just like them. No bulge. For me, I feel like the most complaining I've heard has been about the Steam version <laughs> not working Thank and you. people being disappointed in that. They didn't even mention that at all. They muted the word PC in chat? You're making that up. <laughs> no, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> like it's the N-word? Damn, they put the two letters PC on the same level as the N-word? Don't say that shit in my chat room. You gotta be kidding me. Thank you. They banned the word PC? <laughs> oh, man. That's not bad. Oh, it's because of the C. <laughs> PK. I see. They don't like them. They don't like Cs. And anyone who hangs out with a C is guilty by association. So get that P out of there as well. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. PC. Uh, hey, that's like the N-word, dude. Don't say that. I gotta be honest. I do feel a little bit... I don't know. What's, um... I don't know if guilty is the word, but... 
don't feel great that I don't like Mortal Kombat. Mm, I wish I did. That would be sweet. But, you know, I don't know what to say, man. Just don't. It stinks. I really want to like it. Uh, you know. But that's like, I guess that's kind of like the, you know, what I get for having this kind of mentality as a streamer. Because my rule is that I have to really enjoy what I'm doing. And if I don't, then I'm doing it wrong and I should do something that I enjoy. Well, you know, the rest is history. I realized I didn't like it and when I stopped the stream and I stopped playing, I was like bummed out. I didn't even stream yesterday because I was bummed out about it. But I mean, what are you going to do? You know, I can't, like I said, I can't twist my own arm. I want to like it, but if the game's not helping me like it, then, you know, I've done all I can do. Mm, it's kind of like how some of you guys are not helping me like you. Do you know why you don't like it? Hey, somebody perma-ban that guy. Uh, don't perma-ban him. But, hey, listen, I've been saying why I don't like it the whole time. So, someone perma-ban that guy. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break. Uh, don't perma-ban that guy, you dumb fucks. Hey, don't perma-ban that guy. Shit. This is exactly what happens. You guys give me fucking homework. I turn the stream off and I'm, my Twitter's filled with little bitches that are like, please unban me, please unban me. Don't ban that guy. And don't ban anyone unless I give the direct order, which is what I did there. And it was a test. You failed. And that was a test. You passed. Are they really doing three out of five for MK11? I thought they were just doing that for the time being. I've always felt like the only games that need three out of five are games that have some kind of weird flaw in them. Like fundamentally they need it like Marvel 3 or something like that, where first attack dictates the entire game. More or less, that's how that game was. First attack, if Wolverine touches you, game over. So you have to do three out of five. But other than that, I don't think any game needs it, including Tekken and uh, so any game. Hey, uh, you just show up, Outrospect? You know, that's another reason I wish I liked Mortal Kombat. Everyone that stops in here says, not liking MK? Did MK get flushed? <laughs> you. So all day I gotta repeat myself over and over again. You know? Anyway, yeah, I'm not liking MK. I tried. I guess maybe a part of that is my fault because, you know, I got very excited for it, but then at the same time, I never took any of the opportunities that I had to actually play it. So this whole time I was excited about it, but I could have known if I had played it that, you know, it's just not my cup of tea. I think I would have known that. And if I had done that, I think I would have been less disappointed now at this point. <laughs> Thank you. When I was hype about Moron Combat in front of a friend of mine, he was like, you're excited about Moron Combat 11? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, have you played it? <laughs> and I said, no. Fuck you, man. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> I swear, this is like a... I might as well be reading you the fucking script. This is exactly how it went. Word for word. Word for word. I'm not going to blow up who it was, but, you know. And then they were saying that, you, have you talked to anyone who's played it? And I was like, no, I haven't talked to anyone who's played it. Uh, you know. Fuck you. It's going to be awesome. And then they did that little hey, 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 hey. Like, damn. I don't like this guy's attitude. Anyway. You win this round. Did you like Mortal Kombat 10? Yeah, I liked it enough to play it. I definitely had a good time playing it. I had big complaints, though. I hated the roster. Uh, but at that time, I loved Mortal Kombat so much that I was willing to overlook the shitty roster and find someone I love to play but once again they've taken out my two characters and 
it's just I'm finding it hard to like any of the characters in the game. I'm finding it hard to like the game at all. That doesn't mean I'm not going to play it again. I want to try Shang Tsung out. Because a lot of the time, all you got to do is Thank fall you. in love with the character in a fighting game. And that's it. You're in. Will you play some Scorpion? What's the matter, bud? You are already sick of MK11 too, and you don't want to play Scorpion, and you're trying to get me to do it, or what? I don't really, uh, I don't get it. I tried everyone out. Mm, I don't know. I don't think that it's... I don't know if that I don't like any of the characters in the game, or if there's something about the game itself that's just not compelling. But I tried everyone out already. I remember feeling this way when I played MK10 because there was no human smoke. But I quickly fell in love with Reptile and Quan Chi. And I also liked Raiden in that game. But I tried... Uh, <laughs> Reptile you. and Quan Chi are not in, and I tried Raiden. The only character I didn't actually try out with my own hands was... Sh uh, Shang Kao. Shao Quan, or whatever. Shang Kua. What's his name? Shao Kahn. Shang Kua. <laughs> Whatever the hell his name is. Maybe because there are no hype combos? Nah, I don't really care about that. It just feels just too similar. Not enough that's different. The biggest change in Mortal Kombat 11 is Flawless Block. And Flawless Block is a very advanced mechanic. And it's not very reliable online. Uh, which is probably the only method in which I'll end up playing the game if I end up liking it, right? So, I don't know. <clears throat> doesn't really... How... You have to be motivated, and the game doesn't motivate you. Look cool. MK11, not so much. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Kano looks like a dork in this game. When you go to select him, the look on his face is just so unattractive. Yeah, I'm really jealous. In fact, I, to be totally honest with you, I'm genuinely jealous of the people who are enjoying Mortal Kombat 11. I want to be that person too. In fact, I want to be that person really badly. I want to play Mortal Kombat 11 and have fun, but I don't. I keep trying to and I just am not that person. Which stinks, because I want to be that person. And I expected to be that person. Why am I not that person? Ed Boon will patch it up, good as new, and you'll be that guy. But you don't realize that that's not usually the way it works, man. Usually I'm into Mortal Kombat Hardcore, and then after the first, sometimes second Evo, I'm out. You know? Before things get too crazy. I always wonder, because you know, every time a new game comes out, Every random ass guy who even fucking likes Mortal Kombat is tweeting like, look, I'm a free agent. I'm a pro player. Uh, my DMs are open. Let's hear it. What do you got? Give me the sponsors. The floodgates are open, you know? I always wonder like if I made a tweet like that, who would contact me? Who's going to sponsor me? I think I'd probably get a few, you know? I already got, dude, I got an offer for a sponsorship for like a shaving company. It's like a shaving, some kind of male, I don't know what it is, to be honest. But it was like, we think you'd be a perfect fit. We're a shaving company. We want a full sponsorship of your stream, top to bottom. We're willing to do, you know, this and that. I'm like, is this shit for real, dude? <laughs> shaving? I'm an expert at shaving. And fitness. Uh, let's see here. Mm, I mean, the, the list is endless here. Fitting these nuts in your mouth or whatever it is. Wendy's. Oh, yeah, I'm an expert in gout. Oh, yeah, having a full head of hair. Dude, I'm a fucking pro at that shit. Hey, you know, honestly, I do sincerely apologize to those people who are displeased with me not liking Mortal Kombat. I am upset about it, too. And that's not a joke. I am upset about it. I tried out the crypt. 
There's a lot of stuff about that game that's weird. But I think the biggest gripe I have with it is the customization system and the way that makes it feel like each character is like a created character and doesn't feel complete at all. I mean, in the previous Mortal Kombat, I wasn't in love with the variation system then either. But at least when you picked Bong Jitsu, Takeda, or whatever the fuck his name was, he's carrying a different weapon, his strings are different, and they're based around the variation you picked, and you have appropriate moves that m complete this variation as a character. But... Now it feels like you have this base set of moves and it doesn't matter if those moves fit with any of the specials or not. It doesn't matter how it feels because this is what you get. This is the tournament variation and this is what you get. It, it, you know, it just doesn't feel fun. It doesn't feel good to me. It feels familiar. It feels not bad. I think that people who like NRS games and are hyper competitive and are interested in winning money and shit for the game will be all over it. But it just doesn't feel fun. You know, it doesn't feel satisfying or uh, it doesn't have, a, you know, that feeling where you want to keep playing it. Go and kill it if you do. I will give you know what I mean? I mean, and then there's all the stuff around it, you know, like customization, equipping things, crafting materials to unlock fatalities in the crypt, collecting combat coins and hearts so that I could do, you know, it's just like all oh, this giant headache. But, you know, I mean, I, I want to like it. Still, I like Mortal Kombat. I always have. This is basically the issue. This is what's been bumming me out for the last day and a half. I mean, it just doesn't... I don't know how to twist my own arm into liking stuff. I guess it's just not my style. Which is what made me think of the sponsorship idea. Because, you know, that's what made me think about it. All these streamers out there will easily play something. And, you know, whatever, man. Let me just turn this shit on and play it. I guess that's probably my issue. I shouldn't have, uh, I don't know if it's a negative thing or not, but I, I'm not very good at mm, playing something that I don't want to play. I mean, trying something is one thing. I don't mind trying something. I'll try it. I feel like I'm pretty open-minded about stuff for the most part. But actually playing it and pretending to enjoy it It's a different story. Man, could you imagine how sweet it would be if I was so hype and pumped and into that shit? And, uh, you know, taking notes and learning, you know, matchups and shit. That would be cool. But, whatever. I'll tell you honestly, it does make me want to play Tekken. And if I were to be totally honest with you, I almost played Tekken today. But I just remembered how much I hate playing fighting games online. Characters in MK11 have different combos if you play on PC and the PS4. That's pretty funny. I think it's likely because the PC version is not up to date and is not using the most <laughs> recent version. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, don't say PC. <laughs> I still don't really believe you, to be honest. There's no way they banned the word PC on the combat cast. Why would they do that? Don't they know it's funny? <laughs> they banned it? Don't talk about that shit. <laughs> Hell no. It's a good thing you didn't try the PC version. Yeah, I heard, man. I dodged a bullet. Big thanks to NRS and Warner Brothers for giving me the game. All right, chat room, you know, I have to be totally honest with you. If I didn't mention this, I think I would. Uh, it would be on my mind. So I know a lot of you are excited about Moron Combat and probably disappointed that I'm not playing it. And to those people, I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. I really want to play it, and I expected to play it, but I don't like it. 
At least not right now. So, you know, I mean, maybe I didn't get 12,000 people watching me, but that's really not important. I mean, you know, the real truth is, when I started getting 700, 500 people watching me, I was like, this is perfect. I'm good to go. So, it doesn't really matter how many people watch me. Otherwise, I'd be playing Mortal Kombat. Regardless, I think it's important to remember... Thanks for liking my stream. <laughs> Thank you. That's definitely something I think about every day. And took PC out of their Twitter profile? What do you mean? They're pretending like it's not on PC? Damn, I like their style. Damn, these are not the droids you're looking for. That shit works perfectly on PC. Using some Lord Raiden ability. Uh, the chat is stoned. They're lying and full of shit regarding the Twitter thing. Look, man, you're a part of the chat, and you're stoned and full of shit. So, I don't know how you're gonna respond to that. Wow, you got shot. Damn. Well, anyway, I hope you're having a good day.